Well, thank you for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Kayla Gaskins. A Newport News family is grieving after a devastating loss. Their son died in a crash in Texas last weekend. 27-year-old Army Captain Malcolm Perry was stationed at Fort Bliss in El Paso. Police have now charged one man with intentionally ramming into Perry's vehicle. A woman also faces charges for her role in Perry's death. Senator Sides Tamara Scott spoke with Perry's family about the loss. Dana Perry's advice to other parents tonight is to make sure you take time to get to know your children as adults, know their habits and their friends. She says although she and Malcolm were very close, she wonders if she knew more about his friends or what he was doing that night, then things might have turned out differently. About 11 o'clock p.m. at nighttime, I got the news that my son was gone. And it was a moment Dana Perry said her life changed. Her son, 27-year-old Malcolm Perry, was an NSU 2015 graduate and a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. He was killed in a crash last week in El Paso, Texas. According to court documents, the crash resulted from an aggravated assault when a man by the name of Richard Sinesi intentionally rammed his Jeep Wrangler into Perry's Audi last Sunday in El Paso, Texas. That's really, really hard. It's, it's hard because my son was non-confrontational. Um, he never argued with anybody. Court documents say Malcolm was beat up at his residence, then chased in his vehicle. Moments later, there was a loud crash, and Malcolm could be heard yelling for help, and he later died when the car went up in flames. The other person named in connection with the crash is a woman named Clevy Nelson Royster. This girl is a, a mystery to me, and to my understanding, to most of his friends. Alan Simon is one of the people who knew Malcolm best. We are brothers, not basically we are. He says the details of the crash don't add up to him. He was non-confrontational. Um, he was an amazing person, very selfless. He wonders how things might have been different if he were there. It hurts because I knew if, if I were there or one of his closest friends were there, that none of that would never happen, you know. It would have been a situation where we would have we left earlier, left sooner, you know. We, none of that would have happened. And his mother left with no other children, fights for justice while reliving their last interaction. He talked to me about everything. Um, he, he, we had just talked to each other the day before. It was a very short conversation. And the last words that I heard my son say was, I love you. Now Dana told me that she's going to try her hardest to stay on the case all the way in Texas. She also told me that Malcolm's body will be returning to Norfolk International Airport very soon where he will receive full military honors. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.